Welcome back everyone to the Westlake Hornets Team Builder Dynasty here on NCAA 14 as this week the 2 and 3 Hornets will be taking on the 4 and 1 New Mexico Lobos and which should certainly be a challenging game for Westlake. Last week they took on the Illinois Fighting Illini and Illinois barely beat them 27-21 in Westlake's lowest scoring game of the season. This week the New Mexico Lobos are 4 and 1 with their only loss coming to BYU in overtime, 24-30. New Mexico has a top three rushing offense and a top five defense in all of college football, so this one will not be easy for the Hornets. Welcome, everyone, to University Stadium, the 2-3 Westlake Hornets, and the 4-1 New Mexico Lobos are set to battle. Westlake will choose Tails because Tails never fails. And it indeed lands on Tails. Westlake will choose to send their defense out first. Here's the New Mexico offense. They've scored about 36 points a game this year, which is certainly very solid. As on second down, it's going to be intercepted by Carlos Rivers. Or no, Albert Rivers, sorry, not Carlos. And Albert Rivers will take it in for a pick six. And Westlake will start this football game off with a score. Here comes out the New Mexico offense. Last drive, they threw a pick six. So can they rebound and score a touchdown? It's going to be handoff for Kentrell Moran on first down. And Kentrell Moran with a nice 12-yard run. Here's the Westlake offense who relied heavily last week on the run as Benjamin Gold did not have a great performance throwing zero touchdowns and three interceptions. As Gold Scranley finds a wide open Rashawn Overstreet, trucks a defender, and gets to about the 41 yard line. Nice play right there by the senior wideout Rashawn Overstreet. It is first down and 10, Gold and Bostic in the backfield. As it's going to be handoff for Malik Bostic. Bostic has a first down, gets by a defender, breaking his ankles, and Bostic will take it inside the five. It is second down and Gold to three. Bostic and Gold in the backfield is Benjamin Gold. Scrambling. Gold. He's going to look in the end zone and he will find Deontay Daly for a three yard score. And the Hornets will make it a double digit we lead. have an EA Sports Studio update as Fresno State beats the Air Force Falcons by a score of 35 21. Fresno State now goes to 4 and 2, led by four touchdowns from Virgil. And Air Force goes down to 3 and 2. And other scores, Hawaii beats UNLV 27-13. Nevada destroys San Jose State 28-7. And a very good game out in South Bend as Iowa and Notre Dame looks like they're going to go down to the wire. This Westlake defense is one of the worst in college football, but so far they're doing very good today. They're down and one. Can the Lobos convert? As Owens and Burst in the backfield, it's going to be a jet sweep for Reed. Reed is a first down. Reed breaks a tackle, and he's going to get 15 it yards. It is third down and six. New Mexico's one for two on third downs, 50% so far this afternoon. As Burstin, he's going to look to pass it. He's going to scramble. He gets by Conrad Novak. He's going to fumble it, and it's recovered by New Mexico. That will be a first down, so New Mexico is lucky to keep the ball. That was Mel Flint who forced it. It is second down and goal up a three. About a minute 15 to go here in the first quarter. Handoff for Villagin. But he gets wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage by Triple V. Victor Ved Victor, who has had a very quiet season. Third down and goal at the three-yard line. New Mexico is three for four on third down. 75%. Can they get it? It's Kentrell Moran. He's going to run around three Westlake defenders. And New Mexico is on the board. We have another studio update presented by EA Sports. As Iowa, after being down by four points of about four minutes to go, scores two touchdowns and beats the number eight Notre Dame Fighting Irish 34-24. Notre Dame loses their first game of the year, and Iowa improves to 3-3. Three and three. Certainly a big upset this week. Here's the Westlake offense as they had a very quick first drive on their last possession. We've barely seen the Hornets offense all day. As it's going to be handoff for Bostic. Bostic has blocks. Bostic has a first down. He absolutely stampedes a defender and gets 27 yards. Second quarter underway. Your score, Westlake 14, New Mexico 7. It is third down on 11 for the Hornets. Can they convert his gold? He's going to look up the middle for an open target. It's the 5'7", Mickey O'Neal, 
and he gets 28 yards. Benjamin Gold is a little banged up. He has back spasms. He should be good to return, but for right now, C.J. Clifford is in at quarterback. It's going to be a toss for Quentin Weatherspoon on second down, and Weatherspoon will find the end zone, and Westlake will be up 21 to 7. It's first down at the 36 for New Mexico, as it's going to be handoff for Tyrone Owens. Owens, he gets by Ash Jakar, and Tyrone Owens will get 16 yards. Second down and 12 at midfield for the Lobos. Cameron Burstyn looking to pass. It's something he's not done at all today. He's going to find Tyrone Owens, but Owens loses the football. Mel Flint forced it, and Alan Hayden recovered it. A huge turnover for Westlake. Big play by the Hornets defense as Westlake has it back. Benjamin Gold back in the game. First down, Gold. Under pressure, he's going to be sacked for a loss of 8 yards by Aaron Blackwell. It is second down and 18 after the sack by New Mexico. As Benjamin Gold looking to pass it, Gold, he's under more pressure. He fumbles it and it's going to be recovered by New Mexico. So right after the Lobos fumble it, West Lake will fumble it. And New Mexico will get the football right back. It is first down for New Mexico, Cameron Burston. He's going to scramble. He's going to keep it. He trucks Mel Flint. And he's going to rush for 14 yards as Mel Flint got bulldozed. On that. So far, New Mexico is one for one today in the red zone with a touchdown as Burston unshockingly keeping it. But this play is read like a book by the true freshman Ash Jakar. Benjamin Gold strained his back. It looks like he will be fine, but he's already had two back injuries today, which isn't great. As Burston keeping it himself again, Burston has open room, and Cameron Burston will score, making it a one score. Game. Westlake had a quick three and out, so can New Mexico take advantage? It is third down and ten. They're gonna need to convert if they wanna have this game tied at halftime, and they do is Drennan. There he goes down the field, gains 34 yards. It is third down and goal at the three. This is a huge play for New Mexico. It's Burston. Over to a wide open Delane Hart Johnson. And the Lobos will tie it up. It is fourth down and one. Coach Mason Conway has decided to go for it. As Benjamin Gold. He's going to scramble. He's going to run with it. He'll get an easy first down, but he loses the football. And it's recovered by New Mexico. So Westlake gets the first down, but Benjamin Gold fumbles it. And the Lobos will get the it. Lobos kicked a field goal. They're now up 24-21. About 3 minutes and 20 seconds left here in quarter number 3. Benjamin Gold. Scrambling with it. He's under pressure. He gets sacked for a loss of 11 yards. Excellent shoestring tackle by Teton Saltis. Hope I it is 3rd down and 17. Westlake's offense has been very bad the past couple drives. As Gold... He's going to have plenty of time. Gold runs into a defender. I don't know what Benjamin Gold was thinking on that play. As he had all the time in the world. And that's what he does. New Mexico can score a touchdown and potentially be in the driver's seat. As they're already starting about the 50-yard line. It's going to be kept by Burston. He breaks a couple tackles. Toss to Patrick Reed. Reed is a first down. There goes Reed down the field. He gets 20. It is third down and goal at the six. Westlake needs a stop, and New Mexico needs to get in the end zone. Under 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. Kentrell Moran on the screen breaks a tackle, and Kentrell Moran will get six. We are now in the fourth quarter. New Mexico is up 31-21. But believe in Ben, folks. Can Benjamin Gold make some magic? Is Gold under pressure? He's going to be sacked for a loss of seven yards on the play. By D'Angelo Rowe. Third down and seven. Westlake's defense needs a stop. This is a huge play and really could decide this game as Cameron burst in. He's going to run with it. He will run for the first down, but he loses it. Edmund Setzer recovers it. That is a huge turnover for the Hornets. Five minutes and 29 seconds to go here in regulation. Westlake certainly still has a chance to win this football game. Dustin Schwend in motion. It's going to be a jet sweep for Schwend. Schwend is a first down. There goes Schwend. He has not caught a pass all day, but gets a very nice fourth run. down in 10. Westlake is 0 for 1 on fourth down. And this is pretty much the ball game. If they don't get it, then I don't see a way that they can win. As Gold, he's going to look deep for a wide. 
open. Rashad Overstreet. I don't know why he dove for it, but he still was able to get Westlake it. Westlake kicked a field goal. It's now 24-31. And the fate lies in the hands of the Hornets' defense. A very inconsistent and talentless group. As Owens on first down breaks a tackle. Tyrone Owens breaks another tackle and gets to about midfield. Third down and seven. Westlake needs a stop here. Can they get it? Probably not, but who knows? Anything is possible. Donald Trump got elected president. As Burston hand off for Tyrone Owens. Owens gets stopped as Big Z Zaire. McGill actually injures him, and it's going to be fourth down and three. It is fourth down and three, and New Mexico is going to go for it. And I think this is a very smart play call by the Lobos. I agree with it. Has a minute and a half to go. It's going to be a handoff for Tentra Moran. He gets stopped by Gilbert Wynn, but there's a flag on the play. And it's a holding on the offense, so it will not matter. And Westlake will get the football back. Fourth down and seven. This is it. Obviously, Westlake has to go for it. They don't really have much of a choice. As Benjamin Gold, he finds a wide open James Moody up the middle and a huge conversion for Westlake. 31 seconds left to go here in regulation. Westlake still has two timeouts. As Benjamin Gold, scrambling. Gold, he's going to look down the field for Schwed. Schwed with an excellent catch over a defender. I don't know how he hauled that one in, but he did. A little under 20 seconds left. Westlake still has two timeouts. The clock is ticking, though. As Gold, scrambling, he sees a wide open James Moody in the end zone. And this game is tied up, assuming Calvin Richardson doesn't miss the extra point again. This is Westlake's second time playing a Mountain West opponent this season. This is also their second time playing a Mountain West opponent in overtime this season. It's Benjamin Gold. He's going to look for Malik Bostic. And Bostic will bring it to the one. First down and pretty much a couple inches at the one yard line. This should be an easy punch in. Rashawn Overstreet in motion. And off for Weatherspoon and he gets it. Westlake will now be up by seven. And New Mexico will have to score a touchdown this of their own. New Mexico's second Mountain West game of the year. This is also their second one that entered overtime just like Westlake. But just New Mexico actually lost to BYU. And on second down, Burston. He's going to easily run it in. And we're going to need double overtime unless the Lobos makes the extra point. But I kind of doubt that. We are now in overtime number two. New Mexico start the football. Westlake will, however, get a chance with the ball as Burston. He's going to get sacked on first down. It's Conrad Novak with the play. And now it's going to be second and 13. And Calvin Richardson makes this field goal. Then we will head to a third overtime. The kick is, no, it's a fake. And C.J. Clifford, he will find Quinn Weatherspoon. And Westlake will win off of the fake field goal. What a play call by Coach Mason Conway. And the Hornets will improve to 3-3. Three and three. What a way to end a crazy game. Very competitive and very down to the wire.